What is up everyone? So right in front of you is my commuting bicycle. This is a Sherwin Crosscut. It's a 1991 uh, hybrid bike with 700c wheels made, I guess, specifically for commuting and fitness purpose. And uh, this is the perfect commuter bike for me. And uh, I bought it a few weeks ago for amazingly crazy good price of $50 cash. And I haven't done much to the bike yet besides lubricating all the original components on the bike. However, in today's video, um, I want to start, um, I want to actually polish the frames uh, using a frame using a auto, like a car polishing compound. So uh, that's gonna be the first step in my restoration uh, and upgrades for this Sherwin Crosscut. Um, the next uh, step in this process would be uh, upgrading all the group set components to fairly modern components um, that we can get nowadays. Um, so let's get started. So I'll show you the polishing compound I'm using. This is the new finish, the once a year car polish. No buffing, no rubbing. That's what they advertise us. And it's again, usually used for cars, clear coats. And this bike is almost 30 years old. And as you can see, the clear coat has somehow kind of worn off a little bit. This is a black color. And there are some rust over here, which I'm not worried too much. Um, so yeah it's uh let me see if i can put it in the sun and then it's probably going to show more of those really pitted areas on the bike so yeah definitely not a smooth bike in terms of the you know the cleanliness or the the shininess of the frame so keep this in mind and at the end of the video we're gonna do another i guess browse through to see if that new finish would improve the finish of this frame. This frame is a chromoly frame. Um, it's using the True Temper um, chromoly frame. So pretty good steel. And again, good steel needs good protection. And also I want the bike to look a little bit better than what it used to look like. So we're gonna get started. All right, I just flipped my bike over and uh, removed the wheels. So we're gonna we're gonna just go ahead and start. And really, there's uh, not much trick to the applying of the polishing compound. You just uh, get a, a small amount onto your uh, fabric or your shop towel, and just you know wipe back and forth. Try to polish the frames and hopefully make it. Uh, look more shiny than what it used to be okay so i'll show you guys at the end of the video if this polishing compound works or not and then you decide whether you should spend just a couple dollars to get some polishing compound and make your old bike uh the clear coat looks uh, looks better than what it is uh, at the current state okay so we'll be back in the next section of the video all right took about uh 30 minutes for me to apply the uh, polishing compound all over the frames on um, all the areas that I can see or reach and uh, I don't think it looks bad it actually it did a fantastic job uh, of polishing up and make the frame look really really shiny look at that like right now the whole frame is uh, is really shiny the only thing it couldn't fix is um, the actual scratches like I have some really serious scratch from here from the previous owner laying or leaning the bike against some really hard stuff uh, which is a pity but everything else like including the seat stays the chain stays everything else is very very shiny right now so that definitely makes a bike look a lot nicer and uh, I also just uh, quickly polished the stainless steel spokes. So the spokes now looks kind of shiny as well, which is nice. Uh, definitely adds good appearance to a 30 year old bike. And uh, if you guys have any questions about restoring 
your old vintage bike and how to make the frame go shiny, uh, this is your solution. And it's, it's, a, it's a 30 minute job with a couple dollars of investment. And I didn't even use like more than one sixteenth of the polishing compound. And it still have a whole bunch left. You can use those for your car as well. So this polishing compound, um, what it does is it actually sticks onto your clear coat and it actually smooths out the clear coat and it hardens. And that's what, so whatever shininess you see is actually from, from this compound. It pretty much just protects the clear coat from further damage, which I think it's really nice. And uh, look at the front. So everything is shiny. Things that you cannot fix are actual rusts that uh, most likely you just need to replace uh, those parts if it rusted so bad to a point that it's not usable. But for my bike, even though those brakes, you know, the bolts and things are rusted, it still works perfectly fine. So I'm not going to replace it at this point. The first step, again, as I mentioned, is just to make the frame look really nice and polished. And look at this area. So this area didn't have much, you know, damage or much interaction with the environment. So this area is like the shiniest after polish. So which is pretty interesting. Um, the rest of the bike, not bad at all, not bad at all. So guys, questions, comments, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching at part one of this uh, vintage bike restoration series. Uh, do follow do follow me and subscribe to my channel eventually uh, when I have the group sets ready we're gonna do a complete overhaul of the group sets on this vintage bike okay so thanks again and I will see you guys in my next video take care